Hi Taurus friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. I almost forgot about you guys. You guys are my last sign. I'm so sorry. Um, so Taurus, this is going to be from October 14th through the 27th, 2019. And just as a quick reminder, Taurus, I'm reading for a lot of you. If the reading doesn't resonate, please watch your other signs. You know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm using the Witch's Tarot for you guys. I'm also going to be pulling you a Moonology Oracle card. We do have a full moon on the 13th. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun Spirit. Taurus, October 4th. The 27th. Taurus. Your cards feel perfect. So, Taurus, I always talk to you guys about, you know, how to get a private reading. You guys know all that by now. You know, everything you guys need to know is right below the video in the description box. I do... Wow. Look at the first card you guys pull. Amazing. I do want to talk to you guys about my Facebook page. Um, you know, I'm live there two, sometimes three times a week. Sunday fun day. You know, they're winning tarot decks. Wednesday, your weekly general reading, but Halloween night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have a very um, special event coming up. Lots of prizes, very nice prizes, especially if you're dressed up. 30 people, $25 a person. Now, in my website, for twenty for twenty five dollars, you only get three cards. I usually look at the bottom as well, but you're getting five card pulls, a five card reading, and if it's really bad, of course, I'm not going to leave you hanging. But I would absolutely love to have you guys there for that. If you could, if you could make it, you know, I interact a lot. That's the Four of Pentacles, by the way. I do interact a lot on my Facebook page. So really, I would love to have you guys follow me there. Link is below. Monology. So, the Four of Pentacles, you could be holding back your thoughts, your feelings. You know, it could be conservative energy, very focused on saving your money over the next two weeks. Taurus. It's beautiful. We'll look at that in a minute. But, um, yeah, just very focused on saving your money. You know, generally, generally, it is a card of control. I feel like, you know, saying some of you might need to, to let something go, you know, to guide you. Let's see what's under that. All right, under that, you have the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, interesting. And then you have the Two of Swords. And then the Two of Cups. And then the Ten of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Two of Cups. Okay. So... Like, 
in a row, it's obvious that some of you, this is around a relationship, a partnership. If it's not romantic, it could be family, business as well. You might be changing your mind a lot with the Two of Pentacles, you know, going back and forth. Or again, maybe you need to let go of something, balance your thoughts, and like kind of give it to God. I am getting that. I swear I got that for another sign, not even, not even two, not even a month ago, and I've never really said that before. But balance really does seem very important, Taurus. Balancing your thoughts, emotions. Those of you that need to make a decision. I think you guys really need to spend time with friends, family. You know, someone that you could trust. You know, because your overall energy is the Nine of Wands. I mean, this, you know, I mean, this person is absolutely exhausted mentally, emotionally, just completely drained. You know, this person has gone through the ringer, but this is someone that's going to persevere. They're not going to give up. They're not going to back down. You know, it is a card of perseverance. And I do feel for some of you, those of you that you know, are exhausted which, that's why I say it's important to watch your other sign stores because this card has come out a lot. And in different decks, now I have used this deck for the last four or five signs. But, I mean, it was just, it was out for Gemini, Capricorn, Leo. And for one of them signs, it was in the overall energy. And I just don't remember right now, but... It's like you really need to let go and just really let the universe guide you because you're exhausted. Some of you just need to release control. Others of you may be needing to release something to God and, and you know, just what's meant to be. For some of you, you know, definitely not, not all of you, but those of you in particular that are feeling absolutely exhausted, but most definitely not giving up. So in particular for you Tauruses you know, that are just totally exhausted, it is concerning a relationship in particular, you females. I think I'm actually, I'm going to clarify that. I'm going to leave these cards out. And I just, I don't know. I just feel like I need something here. I don't know why I just said that. Probably because I just seen it. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Oh my God. You're not even going to believe this. Would you believe the Queen of Swords did fly out of this deck? I'm not even shitting. That is crazy. Wow. Wow. Because I did just see it. So clarifying this, you have the Queen of Swords. 
The others of you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and she's been out a lot too. Some of you are absolutely exhausted. I, I do see you really using this sword and severing ties from what's no longer serving you. I really do. Because even with the Four of Cups here, you're not happy. You know, this is emotionally feeling not satisfied. But what's interesting, though, is the Ace of Cups sitting right next to it. I love it in this deck. You know, the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups, it's almost like I feel like, you know, you're being offered this amazing new love. Could even be a reconciliation, you know, literally being offered this beautiful cup, you know, overflowing joy and happiness, and you just might want more. Or maybe you're being stubborn about it. You know, maybe you're hanging in there fighting for something because you want more. I feel like you just don't want to give up on a relationship for some of you. You know, the Ace of Cups could be working it out for some of you, definitely with temperance here. You know, you, you know that there's a lot of hope within this situation. Trying to make it work. But still for some of you with the Four of Cups. I just, if you, it just might not be enough. That's why I feel like some of you guys, like, kind of need to give it to God. And temperance is a very spiritual energy, guys, right? It is your angels, your spirit guides, guiding you on the path that you're meant to be on. And you also have the hangman. You know, is, it, is another spiritual energy. You know, for some of you needing to go spend some time alone, go within, look at your options as far as what it is you could do now, what you could do next. You know, needing to just... Look at your options, your choices. And if it's possible, and you can, I would definitely suggest doing that. Because there, there is a lot of cups, a lot of emotional energy. For shits and giggles, I'm going to see what the next card is. Oh, I can't even, I can't even make this up. It is you guys. It's definitely you guys. That's incredible. You need this time to just really disconnect emotionally. Take a step back. Look at the larger picture and really give it to God. The universe, Jesus, higher forces, whatever it is that you believe in. And just seeing what happens. I think you need to see things from a different perspective. Surrounding an ending which has also been out a lot. It is an ending. But it could also be a time frame for some of you too. Scorpio season is right around the corner. But, you know, letting go of something. But if that's the case, you know, letting something go is allowing you to create that space for something, for a new beginning. Something new to come in. I really do feel like I'm waiting for some Capricorns that you're really trying to make something work. And that's why you have the Nine of Wands, the Hangman, Temperance, Death. Is actually mirroring Temperance. Something is definitely finishing up here. But you are trying to make it work. That is definitely for some of you. And it's a partnership. And if it's not romantic, it could be a friendship, business partnership. 
It doesn't always have to be romantic. But let me just notice, you know, you have the Queen of Swords here too. Let me just point out, you know, with this Two of Cups, all the clarity, light information that's coming through. And she's all about the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. A relationship, I, I mean, I'm definitely reading for some of you that are trying to make a relationship work. And then for others of you, because it, it's just not going to be around a relationship for all of you. It is all cups and it is a beautiful new beginning that's coming in. If it's love, really, it's beautiful. Some of you definitely could be offered something over the next two weeks with the four of cups and the Ace of Cups, you're going to make a decision about that. Remember, you do have the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles under the deck, which is some kind of, of help that's coming in for you. With the Two of Pentacles, I feel like you really are going back and forth. And so, you know, you have something being offered to you definitely it's something that you've waited for. And for some of you, it really is a beautiful, blessed opportunity that's coming in for you. You've been waiting on. I mean, for a very, very, very long time. You know, the Nine of Wands, I've said this so many times already, is someone that has waited even you know, nine years, if not longer. But here I think you're just, you're ready to speak up, say something, do something, take action. It could be a new job, a new home. It's something that is going to fill your heart with a lot of joy and happiness. Literally crying tears of joy. This Ace of Cups is absolutely amazing in this deck. I mean, really. Underneath temperance, it's, it's meant to be. It really is, guys. I do feel like the first week you are going to have to spend some time alone. Look at your options. You know, this is a blessing. No matter how you resonate with it, no matter what, it is going to bring you great happiness and joy no matter what. Right now, it might not feel that way, but that's what you want. So before you go turning down this offer that might not feel so appealing at the moment, you know, I definitely would suggest that you spend time alone and really, really seriously think about it and look and really look at it carefully, deeply look at it. I can't stress that enough deeply. Please just don't turn this down because... It really is a beautiful, beautiful blessing that's coming in for you. I think you have to, I really, I'm going to be honest, like I always am, I'm a Virgo, I get it. You're going to have to give something up. And it is you, there's no doubt. That's not a coincidence. You're going to have to give something up in order for this new beginning to come in. You are, because you have the Ten of Swords. I mean, thank God this difficult cycle is completing. And with temperance, you're definitely healing. Definitely. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, with the King of Cups. And the Death card could be Scorpio, or it's a time frame for some of you, which I do believe it is. Something is happening in the in the time of Scorpio. If you're involved with a Scorpio, you've probably been extremely patient with this person. Very, very patient. You know, someone that's calm, patient. 
having the courage, determination when the time comes. But it's, it is another card that represents control. And some of you have been very calm, patient with someone, most likely this Scorpio. But it could be that they're offering you something and it's not exactly what you were hoping for. But maybe you were hoping, you know, like, for example, maybe you were hoping for a ring and it doesn't come. It doesn't mean it's not a blessing. It, 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 it might be some of you have to compromise, but there is no doubt you're leaving a difficult cycle behind the 10, the 1, death. You know, the Ten of Swords strength, some of you, you, you know you went through it, something difficult, but it's made you so much stronger, so, uh, stronger, my God. It's made you so much stronger, especially with the Nine of Wands. It is absolutely definitely an interesting reading. I definitely suggest you watch your other signs. Let's see what your Oracle card is. Wow. I can't even make this shit up. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Um, full moon in Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. I mean, you have this card. The Ten of Swords. A tough cycle. A, diff a difficult time. What are the chances of this card coming out? I mean, really. You're done with it. It's over. There's your new beginning. It's absolutely completing. And with strength, it's absolutely making you stronger. So much more wiser. No doubt about it. And it's just a beautiful confirmation. It really, really is, guys. You need... You want to get back to feeling like your old self. Grounded, stable, solid, again... Really a great reading. If you follow me on Facebook, I will see you guys there Sunday, Wednesday. Those of you that do not, I'll see you back here very shortly. Absolutely love you guys, Taurus. Take care. Bye.